Hey guys, this is a quick tutorial on getting your Steam games to launch whenever you launch a game and it immediately just does nothing. It just goes to running and then goes blank. Uh, now this video is very quick, so I am assuming you have uh, updated everything, restarted your computer, go as, uh, as far as restarting Steam and completely uninstalling it and uninstalling it. Um, so this is like pretty much last resort, but before doing all of that like I did and wasted tons of time, try to do this fix and I'll explain at the end of the video why I think this works. Alright so the very first game I'm going to look at is Gut Game on Steam. It just was not opening at all. I was researching and came across this info and I'll go get into that in a second. So the very first thing you want to do is go to your Duck Game. First right click on the Duck Game, run it. If it doesn't uh, run, um, just like for, for instance for me it didn't run, then you can continue. Go to Common so click that. Now you've got two of these files. One of them is .NET. Make sure your .NET frame is completely updated. Um, you'll most likely find out that it is updated and you cannot install it anymore. Um, if that's the case, you have another folder here called XNA. Um, this one was pretty unique. I didn't know if this would work, but upon inspection, I clicked on it and there was actually a repair option. I'll double click that for you. So here we go, Microsoft XNA Framework Redistribution. Sorry, I'm a little tired. Hit Next, and then you hit Repair. Um, and then you're pretty much all good to go. Restart your computer if you have to. In this case, I didn't, but uh, you can if you want. Upon reinstalling that, repairing that little folder right there, I was able to launch all of my games again. Um, currently downloading every single game, unfortunately, but try this. Hopefully it helps. Uh, now, if you made it this far in the video, uh, the main reason why I went ahead and tried those was because uh, I was reading this over here about troubleshooting. So, this is an actual link I'll put in the description uh, that Steam posted for games that do not run after preparing a launch. And they do explain it to you, but they explain it to it in a very vague way. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to catch it until I actually clicked on those folders manually. The very first thing they're going to want you to do is update Windows. And they're going to want you to click on the Windows link and make sure your Microsoft.NET framework, all versions, are available and make sure that they're all good. Uh, which led me to believe why I should click on these and double check. Uh, the reason why I didn't do that first was because uh, if you have Windows 10, Windows updates automatically for you. If you just type Windows update on the bottom, you get Windows update and you click on it and it will tell you everything is completely up to date even though I had that issue. Um, so this really didn't help too much but it does give you a clue uh, to check your framework. Uh, another issue that might be overlooked is graphic cards. Um, although mine did not solve that issue, uh, sometimes graphic cards, especially ATI, uh, could cause issues like that. So again, uh, just to redo it real quick, I'm, I'm assuming you guys know how to browse the game file and everything, uh, but you go to your game, uh, go to common, see if XNA is there, and go ahead and install that. Um, usually the offending game will have a folder like this. Uh, even DirectX might need to be installed. Sometimes that being corrupted is also an issue. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video here. If you have any comments, uh, please uh, comment below. I'll answer them as best I can. I'll put all the, the links in description on the, in the bottom there. Uh, so, yep. See you guys. Thank you.